having a feeling when I was maybe 10 or 11 that I could pinpoint the event that made me first start to have nightmares because I had nightmares when I was about 10 or 11. But I remember thinking at the time that a, a book I had bought, I had checked out of the library in the first grade and I bought The Poison of Snakes had been what first gave me night my first nightmare was from that from this image of this book. And that was the moment that you know, gave me nightmares for the rest of my life. I remember like figuring this out, like having a little logical aha when I was about 10 or 11. But anyway, the image that is the culprit in this situation is this sort of, I wish I could find this book now, but it's this sort of dark, rectangular, close up, shot of a snake it looks like it's coming out of the book it's very close up so probably just the head of the snake you know and here it's all dark and there's maybe some soil here very primordial looking dark moist wet black soil and then this snake with the scale so in the photo you know the scales look like this thing they're big and the scales look up and just the pit you know, like the eyes are black, the pits in the face, you know, they're sunk into whatever, and these are black. And there's some kind of light that's illuminating from behind it. So the skin around the lips is transparent. You know, when a snake opens, it has this like kind of little, you know, very, very thin little stretch of skin. And it's pink and very fleshy and you could probably see veins in it. So the light is coming from behind and illuminating this little bit of skin and you can see the teeth. And the teeth don't look particularly menacing. Actually the snake doesn't look particularly menacing. I mean it's not like ah like biting something. It's just the the sort of ambiance of the photo, the black dark, you know, the kind of pink fleshy lip skin. <laughs> And that's what did it. That's what gave me no 